Hi there, I'm Danny Flexen and welcome to the E! press conference for another exciting night of free-to-air boxing on Channel 5, brought to you by Hennessy Sports um, in association with us here at Boxing Unlocked for seconds out. And it's the British light heavyweight title at stake, champion Shakan Pitters, who you can see to my right and your left, um, will be defending against the mandatory challenger Craig Richards, who is on the other side. And I guess the, the first thing to say about this one, apart from it being an almost guaranteed cracker, is that it's been a long time coming. Um, and I'll hand over to the guys in a minute, but I think I should provide a little bit of context. And this fight was first projected way back in December last year um, for a matchroom show. Offers went back and forth for one reason or another, and I'm sure the guys will talk about it. It never came together. Then it was set for March um, on a Hennessy Sports show after they won the purse bids. Um, Craig had some issues um, with health and so on. So it ended up being Chad Sugden coming in um, to take his place for that one. Shakan would go on to defeat Chad on August 22nd to become the new British champion. And then Craig, as is his right, will now challenge for the belt um, on the 14th of November on Channel 5 and again promoted by Hennessy Sports. So I'd like to ask you both, and we'll start with the challenger, um, Craig, just by uh, random drawing, if you like. Why has it taken so long to get to this point from your point of view? Um, I don't know. It's back and forth, obviously, negotiations. We won it on that show. They won it on that show. Back and forth, obviously. Then it didn't happen December. And then, obviously, I got ill March. And then Hennessy decided to, behind the closed doors, fight with him and Shaq. And I had to wait to fight the winner. And now we're here. That's pretty succinct and appreciate that. What about you, Shaq? What are you saying? Uh, for me, um, pretty much, yeah, we, like you said, we went back and forth. But um, it didn't matter what show we had it on, you know what I mean? We originally got offered it on the Eddie show, so we were prepared. We accepted and everything. But for every reason, what happened with them? The fight never happened, but we're here now, in it? And um, it's going to be obviously live on Channel 5, Hennessy Show. There was a lot of animosity going back and forth on social media before the original date back in March. Has that dissipated a little bit as time's gone on or, or has it made you even hungrier and, and more keen to get in the ring with each other and um, starting with whoever wants to go first? Go for it, guys. For me, obviously, I just started on my, um, my own journey, carried on doing what I was doing. Um, the main aim for me was to get the British title, whether, whether it was Craig Richards or it weren't Craig Richards. So my, the main thing for me was to get the British title. Obviously, there's a lot of stalling going on with them or whatever their end, for whatever reason, that's fine. But, um, you know, I'm here now, I'm the champion, I got the belt, and that was it, and now I'm here to defend it. Craig, have you been stalling? I've been stalled, that's the right thing to say, I've been stalled. Certain people weren't picking up my calls after lock that before lockdown, weren't allowing me to get my shot. I was doing 500 days waiting, but we're here now. Who's he waiting on also? What? Uh, who's he waiting on? Yeah, I was waiting on your promoter. I was ringing nah, you, you like, waiting oh, I got no, no answer. You weren't waiting on us. You weren't waiting you weren't, on us. Got no answer. Your archer promoter was ringing them off. Then we got told the board's allowed you to have a fight because it's behind closed doors. You don't have to that's, put a title that, fight on behind that, closed doors. That's how, you, that's how you know you're talking rubbish because originally in March, you was meant to be the person in the ring. It was never ever supposed to be Chad. It was supposed to be you. Yeah, so, it was meant to be me. Exactly. Yeah, December was meant to be me, meant to be me right? It was meant it was to be you in March. December, December, December was meant to be and you. It didn't and then what happened in December? March, I got ill. Obviously, scrapped the whole show got scrapped. So it goes back to the original plan. So the, I don't know where didn't Chad, get scrapped. When, before you got when, ill. When I was gonna box Chad, when I was gonna take over fight with Chad. Listen, before you got ill, bro. This guy <laughs> talks. Before you got ill, yeah. The, mm -hmm. There was no there was no nothing was getting scrapped or anything like that. You know what I mean? What you pulled, like I said, you pulled out five weeks before the before um the March show. Which yeah. is a lot of time. What, I could have started this camp. So what did you I, want to I do? Be honestly, if I was in the fight, I could have started this camp with six weeks or whatever if I wanted to. That's what do you mean? If I want to, like, I could have started. If you're ill, I was still <laughs> ill five weeks in. Five weeks left, I was still ill. I wasn't just finished being ill. I was still ill. So I could have wasted your time. I could have yeah. wasted your time. I could have waited till the final week and said, I'm ill still, no show. But I didn't. Right. You see what I'm saying? What I done is I respected your thing and let you do your thing. When the whole show got scrapped and I was better, I was like, oh, I'm better. You lot scrapped the whole show because of COVID. You can see what's going on here. Let's get this fight on immediately. Your promoter's like, oh, well, you know, 
we don't have to fulfill the purpose. Answer. We don't have to fulfill the purpose in lockdown and all this and that. So Chad's been approved by the board to fight. So I was like, what sort of madness is that? But okay, so, so why did it? Let me ask you a question. So why Say did again? it take you? I asked Eddie when Eddie put that through to us. It took us a matter of a couple of hours. Bang, yeah, we're good to go. <laughs> we put the, you know, we sent the uh, the contract and everything out to yourself. You know, money's good, mm-hmm. everything's good. Why did it take mm-hmm. you like 14, 13 days or however long to get back to us? Oh, dude, this is what I'm saying. I saw your little stylist thing. We agreed to fight straight away. <laughs> I even said to your trainer, I messaged your trainer saying, the fight's on. What are you lot talking about? Taking time. I see you lot getting done. I think he's thinking about it. I'm like, there's nothing to think about. The fight's on. I have a fight scheduled. I have a fight scheduled. I had a fight scheduled. Listen, listen, listen. You're talking rubbish. I had a fight scheduled. You're talking rubbish, bro. Like, I, had normally, I, had a, I had a fight scheduled in September. You know, right, go on, I move fast. I move fast. Speak I'm after. Not, I move fast. I'm known in the game for you know keep keeping my career going, going, going. The reason mm-hmm. being, even without COVID, it probably would have took me and you a year to be fighting because you're on and an R in your end. It's not our end. Oh, an R in. Are you joking? Anyway, bro, this fight was business. always okay, this okay. fight was always gonna happen. I told you from the off from December when you started complaining. I said to you. Be ready in December the night in the fight's going to be on. Yes or no, did I not tell you that? You decided mm-hmm. you have other obligations yes, to do because you don't want to do full-time boxing. Okay, like okay, you're going to run up okay. and do something can, else. Like I said, that was I your can, business. Let me tell you, so let me tell you when that. I fought Chad, when I fought Chad, they told me Chad's not a credible opponent to even defend my title 10 rounds. He's only done an eight-rounder. So he can only be a tick-over fight for eight rounds. But yeah, yeah, then they've allowed you to fight him 12 rounds for a bit because of time. I, bro, I had to clean your plate, fam. Like, listen, you made him talk the most and up because you struggled with him, went through hell and fire. Like, so, of course, if I'm not going to face you, they're going to put you in the room. Let's, 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 let's pick up on that. Let's pick up on that point. He said he tried to fight you and you was dodging him. Let's, I mean let, let's pick up on this point. I knew this was going to be fiery. I'm glad I'm not there in person between the two. Okay, listen, I was dodging him, yeah? But at the end of the day, he, he didn't have two weeks to like you said we do. He had a full camp. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. Let me ask you a question. How many rounds did you win in the eight rounds? Was it entertaining? How many Sorry, rounds did you win in the eight round with you? Say again. How many rounds did you win? You went through hell on fire with them. Probably what, not even a we didn't win a round. So they had what, how many rounds? How many so rounds did everyone draw? at ringside have me up? How many draw? rounds did the A star referee have me up? Think... Let me ask a question. Did I win the fight? I think you should both let me ask the well, question. Well, <laughs> at least one. Well, in your opinion, did I win the fight? In your opinion. I see a draw. You oh, you two agree it's a draw. I saw a draw. I saw a boring snore fest on Channel 5. I had to turn it off. Tell me it was entertaining. Was your fight entertaining? Okay, let me ask you a question. Well, who's, 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 show, just your people out there. We're, we're not going to see a boring snore fest on November. Listen, you're on Listen, you're on Listen, you're on Listen, you're on Fight. Name me one person who watched the whole fight. Hey, you said, bro, yeah. bro, listen, you had a headline show and everyone's talking about the other boy from your area. No one's talking about your fight and you headline the show. Okay. What's what okay, madness okay, is that? Okay. Listen, is that listen. How boring it was? Let me ask but you. Don't worry. In the interview, don't in the worry. Interview, November said, 14th, it won't be boring. All the time, man. It'll be your first, be be your first listen, exciting I'm the champ fight. now, bro. You'll be, you'll be a first man. exciting fight. Listen, did you not say, did you not say, did you not say he was the toughest guy you've been in the ring with? Who? Did you not say he's the toughest guy you've been he's in the ring? That's it, because he didn't go. He didn't go to sleep. <laughs> but look at his face. Okay, yeah, he looks like he's in a car. Right, guys. He looks like he's in a car. Great punk. Back, he back to your quarters. Back to your quarters. Come on. He can't punk. He can't punk. So he just so he literally. I'm trying to engage, but just like you, he's boring. I've lost control. And just run. And he was happy just to win on fire. I don't think he can punch. But why did he wobble you? Wait, wait, wait. What was up with your legs when he hit wait. that left, bro? Hello. Hold on, wait. My phone was ringing. <laughs> what did you say? Okay, you saying you can't no, this punch. is what a good opportunity say? for me to buy in. <laughs> you saying you can't punch or anything. So why... No, no, go on, let him finish. Why, when he hit you, you was your legs was everywhere? Oh, you're going to okay. pretend he hurt me? Doing that... Doing that Being hurt is what I saw against Dex Bellman. Being hurt oh, is what I saw against Dex, Dex Bellman, Bellman with your okay, knees okay. buckled. Dex Bellman is a more That's her. Role, That's Dex her. Bellman, Dex Bellman, for one, would mm-hmm. hold you. Two, he's been in the Hello, ring. So how come you couldn't hurt anyone else? How come you're the only person who's hurt? 
He's he's only hurt me. Okay, let me just tell you this. Year. How comes he boxed in the north for a box yard? Yeah, and every time he hit them fan, fine. their legs didn't buckle. That's fine. Watch your legs buckle when because I fight. Because why? Watch your why? Legs them legs are not solid. Your, and we'll okay, see November the full team. Legs. Watch when I fight you, bro. Watch your legs. Yeah, yeah watch when we fight. Bro. I can't wait. Your November the full team. team. You know We're going to see. Let's see, in it. Guys, you both talk about November the 14th at last. Let's talk. Say again? Each one of Let's... these dusty ass jerseys are going to be on that Hennessy ring. You watch. Oh, me. come on. Look at you. I'm glad you put you a hat on today. Oh, <laughs> I'm glad you put a hat on today. You're Quiet. smart. You brush your teeth today. Let's, let's talk a bit more about You're November smart. the 14th. <laughs> this guy. Let's talk a bit more about November the 14th. This might right. be the only chance I get to talk in the whole press conference. So I'm going to make the most of it. Shaq, I'm going to start with you on this one. What is Craig good at? What are his strengths in the ring? Let's say something positive about each other now. We've done all the negative just now. Plenty of it to go around. What's positive about Craig? What do you respect about his skill set? I've, like I've always said, man, he's just, for me, honestly, he's done, okay, he's done things right to get to where he is. You know, you can't knock someone to, you know, he's got, what, the WBA belt or whatever it is. Um, he's got that. Uh, he's done things well to get to where he is. But for me... I outbeat him in all aspects, whether it comes to boxing, whether it comes to a dog fight, if he wants to try and make it into that. I outbeat him in a lot of those aspects. But like I said, I'm not taking nothing away from him. He's got a decent winning record, of course, you know, um, and, and, and like he's done things right to get to where he is. So you can't knock, I can't knock that about him. Craig, same question to you. What do you admire, if anything, about Shakan's skill set? And where do you feel you have the advantages? I wouldn't say, I wouldn't say he, I would admire his skill sets. I'll say, He's he got through. He knows what to do. He's kept away. He's avoided them. He he's got away. He's got long levers, and he's been able to keep away from his opponents and have good sparring matches. He's had people with slow feet and short guys. So yeah, he's done what he needed to do to get to where he is. So that's where it is. But it's, that's it's a, not... you know we're we're ready to now put some real entertainment on and get into a real fight. You know, and that's, that's not, what he's gonna. That's, not, that's, that's what he's what ho- hopefully. You know, I'm looking forward to this, and we're gonna see. Out, but it's cool. Who, is that again? Is, is, I said that's not what you said when you sent me an ultimate boxer, but it's cool. I'm not. What does I say about you an ultimate boxer in the amateur you tournament? You said, you said. I, I I remember what you said. You're just like, yo, my man, man, that's not these guys. Wait, 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 my guy. This I said what? That's what it's all about. When I seen you, I said London, what? When I seen you in London, I said, when first I said London, what? That's what you say. I said you're a bad boy. You dusting up these guys. Don't worry, anyway. Go on, carry on. Move on, man. We go. We carry on. We move. Well, this Come is on. one that I'm sure you're not. You're not. You're not, you're not trying to take credit for the guys you boxed in, bo- in ultimate boxing, are you? So, what are you taking credit for? Say again. This, you remember you've been mandatory for the British title when I was yeah for ages. Thinking, when I was thinking about the for six title, months for for so, five so, months, so, I didn't so, even so, have an opponent. Okay, so who sorts that? Because you can't. You can't. You decide you're going to say it's Eddie, it's bad management, or yourself, or what it is. Who sorts that? As soon as I have what that I couldn't get an opponent. Course, it wasn't bad management. We couldn't get anyone. Then everyone went into the ultimate boxing tournament who was who was worthy of, of boxing me for the British title. Oh, so there was like, there ain't no one else worthy. And then you won the English. So they said, boom, we'll put him through mandatory. It weren't that simple. It wasn't it weren't nothing to do with my management. Could, the the you, board you said no one else weren't good enough to put through. Well, you could have fought for that British time ago, bro. You could have fought I was for waiting for a worthy for opponent. You weren't though, like Boatsy had it for ages. You weren't, you weren't saying nothing about wanting to fight Boatsy or anything because you wanted. What do you mean saying to anything to fight Boatsy? Boatsy moved on. He vacated and moved on. I will become the mandatory. Boatsy vacated the belt, moved on. I need an opponent to fight. Bro, people, there's always people out there to fight. And like I said, anyway, we're here now. So what you I think that I didn't want to fight no one? Is I that what you're? Saying? Let me ask you a question. Listen, you thought I, I didn't want to fight anyone? Listen, I just hope you're you there on November. That's all. Let, you think I, I didn't want to fight you, anyone? It's funny. No, it's funny, chat, chat. Chat, chat, do you know what's well. funny? Do you know what's funny? Well. I hope your health's well. I want to ask you a question as well. Why is my thing gone so quiet? One second. <laughs> I don't know. Maybe they want me to be heard more. I don't know. It's not me. Um, let me ask you both something, though. Wait, hold on. I'm going to put you back on my Bluetooth, you know. Go for it. I can't I, really hear you can you still hear me, though, so that's good. I'm going to ask the question quickly. Um, I can hear you, but I can't hear Shakan properly. Yeah, yeah, but he's not going to answer just yet anyway. Um... Shaq, you were saying that you're going to buckle Craig's legs. Craig. One second. Craig, while you're sorting out your Bluetooth, you've been knocking over people for fun, no, at least until... I want to ask him something. Let, let me ask my question first, and then you can jump in. That's the deal. 
But you you were knocking people over for fun, at least until Chad. Okay, uh, go ahead. Good, good quality opponents. Uh, so I want to ask you both, who's the puncher in this fight? Yeah. No one wants to go first. You can't. No, nah, he's not. He's not even there. No, wait, hold on. Sorry, I'm trying to get. Yeah, fuck it. I can hear him anyway. Wait, I'm the puncher and the boxer in 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 all my fights. He's the, he's, like, wait, yeah. did you say he? But who's know, the puncher? I know, I know. Yeah, who's the puncher he's in the fight? The by statistics and all that crap. But I know everyone goes in the ring me will tell him. What? You're a puncher. Go on, man. I've answered Dan. Go on. Talk to talk to him. No, I want to know. I want to know this. Are you a puncher? Your legs will find out in November, bro. Oh, come on. Facts. We know that's not going to happen. Are you a puncher? Facts. Let's be honest. Facts. I'm, I'm, I can punch. Facts. You can't punch. Okay. You got them pillow fish. You can't punch. All right. Same, you same, one good same. thing I say about you is that you what? can avoid and move away good. That's what I you do. To avoid the anything. punching make, thing, allow it. That's not your field. It's not called, it's not called avoiding. It's called boxing. That school. is because really you didn't what? engage. Like, why didn't you engage? You didn't. You don't engage in fights like with Chad. You could have engaged more. I felt I like you was winning the him. fight in points. You didn't go for it. You never like thought, you know what, let me get let me just get him out of there. Like there was no thing. Chad was you could see he was worried about the 12 rounds. He wasn't really doing okay, anything. He was happy to sit off. Let, you could have just got him out. Let me tell you, let let's you, explore that a little round. bit then. Let me just say this down. It weren't the 12 oh, rounds. It was about the person who's in front of him. Over eight rounds. He weren't worried oh, about Oh, is it because you're such a puncher? He didn't wanna he didn't want to commit. He's walking you down. He was toe to toe in the middle. Of the walking me down. <laughs> you're chatting okay, shit. Okay, listen, listen, listen. listen you were, you're you lying were, now. Hey, let me you ask you another me, question. Bro, Craig, Craig, me, one more. Twice Craig, let, let me. Craig, I want to follow up on your fight. question anyway, though. Shaq, let me let yeah, me ask yeah. you. Craig saying you didn't engage with Chad and you won the fight. Clearly, there's no question about that. But is it important to you that you entertain the people at home and that you get involved in a fight, even if it's not the best way to win? But I do what I got to do. You know what I mean? That's it. At the end of the day, he done what he... Ha I do what I have to do. I'm 40 and 0. And I got an easy win against Chad. He does what he has to do. And the fact of the matter... You know what it is? Yeah, but that's what you do in the amateurs. You know this is professional. Great. Like, do you know what it is? Like, even like when I bought, bought Shaq here, yeah, like, I mean, Chad, yeah. Like, first four rounds, I realised, like, this guy has not even landed a shot. And he's happy just to lose on points. Just to say no, I lost him on points. And I could have literally about... just... Easily just just jabbed his head <laughs> off from right. distance, but That's I was tracking him down to engage, and he's the short man. He was the short guy because the fans wouldn't be entertained. I'm not involved with boring fights. I want to get into a fight. Have you watched that fight back? Yeah, watch that watched back, that back, and it was even easier than I thought. Oh, Easy. Man, man. You went through hell and fire with him, man. Stop talking, bro. Oh, lying! You're lying. Oh, bro. Come on, you saw listen, us sitting in the interview listen, after. Listen, not a scratch listen. on me. This guy lucky is in a car crash. With you, he had 12 rounds and he was fine. He went out raving in the night. I, I feel like <laughs> we're doing a better job of advertising Chad Sutton than we are the fight on November the 14th. Huh? Bro, how about we're not raving? Shut up, man. We Say knew, again? We knew he was cool. He was talking. Yeah, his eyes a bit swell, but it was cool. He was there. At the end of you the said day, he was talking when he was with me. Bro, with you, yeah. At the end of the day, you can't compare. It's embarrassing that you're comparing your performance with Chad Tomorrow. Your performance, no you one spoke about you afterwards. And that was a British about... title fight live on you Channel 5. And not one person's that like, that right. was a sick fight. Who's that Shaq guy? I want to see him again. Right, then, cool. No one. Yeah, yeah, not no one person wants to see you watch again. Okay. It was boring. If you, if you, it was a stinker. You, no one wants to see that again. Let's hope that's not true. Let me do them a favour. I'm going to come on your team and I'm going to make sure everyone gets entertainment for a fight on Channel 5. Everyone's going to see a real fight. Is it? Okay. Put my name in on a Twitter or whatever you want to do and put your name in and we'll see what people are saying. What we can do say? that later. Exactly. <laughs> what does they say? For right now, for right now. Yes, I know you're bored. You've been writing our names on Twitter to see reviews and comments. This, this, this is, is anything. You're, you're, on, you're on <laughs> And another more. thing, people should know another people thing, should know let's, let's, let's dive straight into this. Let's get straight into this, yeah? Let me ask you another question. What do you have to tell your friends now? He's saying, I'm telling you, he's scared of me. He's dodging me. What What did you have to explain to them now? That must have been uh, awkward. What do you mean, awkward? My boys my boys know about When, you, when they're saying to me, Chad said, Shaq you. said you're dodging him. Did he? You know what? what I'm like, oh, tell listen, you, you tell your friend listen, listen, that we're listen, fighting. No, he said you ain't going to fight me. Listen, All your little down. friends are like, listen. why would he risk it? He, I saw little interviews. Oh, he's got world rankings. He's eighth in the world. Why would he risk fighting Shaq? Like, Shaq's like, a problem. 
Listen, huh? bottom line, you're going to get battered, bro. You're going to get battered. When <laughs> get listen, listen. Let me tell Come you, on, we know. You, this is easy you, work. I'm when telling things, you. When this things, is when easy work. Tough, when things get tough, like you always do, you look for Peter Sims to flip him, pop his shirt down and put his nipple in the Oh, mouth. what does Don't he... Do no that. one can help no one in that corner. No one helps no one in the corner. There ain't no tough. There ain't going to be a tough ride with you. That's for sure. It's going to be easy work. I am glad. I am glad you're talking about talking like this, bro. Right. I'm trusting, right. I can't listen, see listen. how you don't okay. understand this. I don't I'm even get it. Hey, I'm looking forward guys. to your post fight interview. Huh? Right. I'm looking Me forward too. To interview. But you know I'm what? You know what? Interview. You like you like yeah, Nando's, isn't it? I'm looking forward to your I'm gonna take you Nando's interview. afterwards. Okay, cool. I'm gonna take you Nando's afterwards. I'm gonna say, you know what? Listen. You tried, chin up, you can bounce back. You don't, don't I'll well. get you. I'll get your whole chicken extra hot. You like extra hold hot. on, hold on. Since I'm, since I'm, you like extra hot. Like, hold on, guys. Listen, listen. listen, 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 listen this seems like one thing. Nah, nah, nah. Jack, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on. What did you say? Hold on. This seems like the only thing maybe in this whole press conference that we can agree on. So let's get this nailed down. Whoever loses, whoever loses, pays for the winners' Nando's, and you have to honour it. Now, this is what I would do for him. This is what I do for him. No, I do don't want to... I, 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 I don't want... Listen. This is what I do for him. Listen. No, listen. I don't want... Bro. I don't want him paying for my Nando's. That's a liberty. I'm saying when I win, I'm going to take his Nando's. All right. Win, win and I'm even giving him a date in Nando's. Take a few more pictures. <laughs> take a few more pictures. Ah. You know, it's he's going to realise I deserve to be the British champion. Listen. Huh? Okay. Better than Nando's, I'll tell you what. I'm going to buy his Nando's Tuesday, when he loses. Tuesday, Tuesday, Tuesday I'm going to leave with my belt and the win. You may be a bit... No, we know that's not so going to happen. Gonna you're saying weird Maybe things I'm, now. I'm you're saying I'm weird things. You know you're not leaving with any belt. Also, I'm leaving with the more money, obviously. So I'll send you a little bit more extra. So you can have... Say some again? Money. How about that? So you can have you some are? Christmas money. Since I'm going to be leaving with my belt, sort your phone yeah. out, man. Since I'm going to be leaving Talk with my belt, and I'm going to be obviously having the W... You're going to be a bit hurt in that. So we're allowed in Nando's. And obviously, I'm getting the bigger fight purse. Yeah. And Christmas is around the corner. So I'll send you a little something so you can have a little bit of Christmas money. And you're nice. Because obviously, it seems like Eddie Dovin want to put you on his shows, bro. <laughs> this is this is, this is is why you talk rubbish. Go on. Everything Tell you said why. is rubbish. All right. that's is void. And you know, I was you know I was meant to be fighting in a week or two, a couple of weeks. But I, I came off the fight just for you. Just for you, because you know why? Your team was talking about there's a problem with me fighting before I fight you. I said, no problem. Let me come off the show. Because I saw you lots little, oh, we waited nine days for a response. We told him on the phone, yeah, we're fighting 14th of November. Oh, yeah, but you didn't actually send the contract back. What? We've told you we're fighting. What do you mean to send the contract back? Oh, you want a piece of paper? We'll give you the piece of paper. If that's what you're, if this is why you're going online saying, oh, they haven't responded in nine days. We told your promoter on the phone, yes. We're fighting you. Really? If he wants the paper, nine days later, here's the, here's, here's the paper. Stop trying to do the stylist thing so you think, listen, oh, listen. okay, well, he's listen. fighting at the end of the month. They've not sent the paper back, so we'll try and pretend to move on. No we excuses. We'll come on. out the fight this, and come to you. Is how, this is how I know you talk shit, bro, because every boxer in the British ranking would have dropped a little, whatever, six or eight round confident boost fight he was going for. For a British title fight? Are you stupid? Say again? Every, every fight would what? That- Guys, I think we've gone so wait, full circle. So I thought I was dodging the fight, though. I thought I was dodging the fight. And I thought I could get a fight. But Eddie had December. me on the show in a few weeks. I thought You're Eddie would give me any fight. Now we're back to last Every December. Fight would do that. Every Say fight again? Would do that. What but I thought right I couldn't now, get any fights. But I thought I couldn't get any fights. Because you went through hell and fire with Chad. And then... Every box. Oh, this is what your this is what your team lied to you. Your your team's trying to amp you up to give you some fake belief. Stop listening to them. They're setting you up for disappointment. They already said your trainer already said that you overachieved and he's surprised you're even British champion. Your own trainer said you're he's surprised that you made British champion. You're gonna get smashed in. Your guy said he's just surprised you made British champion. So they're cashing out on you for your last fight, but they need to amp you up. See if you can have a little bit a little bit of belief. You you got okay. What what have you got under your belt, bro? Uh, like you've been sitting on that same title for so long. You you're not active for well, a year, I'm for active. one year. I've got a British title. I've been I'm mandatory for a year. I won that belt before titles. I was mandatory. I've won I won the southern area. I've won that. I beat how many top tens? I beat unbeaten fighters just like yourself Shut many up, times. 
So, so it's easy work. work. Come on. Wrap this up. I'm not them. I'm not. I'm not them on beating fighters, brother. I, You're like, not them. But that's I'm what they them. said. I don't care what they. Every said. one of my you last year opponents. I'm not them. I'm not them. Yeah. You've never fought a guy. Like... I've never said I'm talk a good game. Bro. Which but one anyway, you get like in there? Like I said. Which one you get in there? I'm looking forward to your post fight interview, bro. For sure. I'm looking forward. Your post fight's gonna be mad. You're not gonna want to do one. Huh? They might not let you do one. You might be in a bad condition. All right, All right guys. That brief- really appreciate both of your time. Saturday, November 14th, live on Channel 5. We look forward to seeing you both. I'm afraid I've had to do... I'm afraid I have to do you both dirty and mute you because otherwise this will be the longest press conference ever. But I want everyone to tune in. Tennessee Sports, Channel 5. Saturday, November the 14th, 2020, to see which of these two guys best backs up their boasts. And that's what we're all looking forward to. Absolute fireworks guaranteed. Tune in. We'll be there every step of the way on Seconds Out.